My resignation becomes effective on Friday, the 31st of August, 2012. I propose to return to Parliament on the 25th of this month and make my farewell address to the House of Assembly. I thank God for the life, strength, and skills he gave me to serve our people these many years in the arena of government. I thank once again the good people of North Abaco for having elected me to represent them as their member of Parliament on eight consecutive occasions. It is a privilege I will always hold dear. I was happy to be able to spend last weekend with my constituency together with my wife Dolores and my youngest daughter and to meet with many of the residents as my political relationship with them comes to an end. Of course, my home is Abaco, more specifically Cooperstown, where I was raised as a child, and where I continue to maintain a residence at the same location where I lived with my grandparents as a child. I fully expect, therefore, to spend a great deal of time in the future among the people who I've been fortunate to represent in Parliament. I thank the Free National Movement for the honor of leading our great party for 19 years. While my leadership of the party has come to an end, I remain a full and faithful member, committed to working where and when our party leadership requires for the benefit of our party, but most especially for the benefit of our people and our country. I owe a special debt of gratitude to all the Bahamian people for the generosity of their support, which permitted me to serve as Prime Minister for 15 years. Our people have always been my inspiration. Whatever I've accomplished in making the quality of life for Bahamians better over the last 35 years is the best expression of my love and appreciation for the opportunities afforded me by this country and its people. I thank my wife Dolores, my children, and my entire family for their unwavering support over my entire political career. Without their agreement and support, my national service would not have been possible. It has been a singular privilege and honor to serve in the August House of Assembly of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I will now take questions from the press. Hi, good afternoon, Prime Minister. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your effective date is the end of August. Is that for the purpose of allowing the North Abaco prospective candidate to meet uh, residency requirements? Well, there are two. Well, there, there are three purposes. First of all, the leader of the party asked me to consider um, not resigning forthwith, and I gave the matter my most mature consideration. <clears throat> Secondly, I think the Bahamian people ought to have an opportunity to reflect upon a proposed referendum and to be educated and informed about it. And I want to make sure it's not rushed by the government. And it's been said that I have some part to play in when it's going to come. So I've now played my hand in terms of when it might come. <clears throat> Thirdly, and this is probably the most important one, um, Greg Gomez, who was one of the four persons who applied to the party for nomination, has spent some time in the United States of America. And he hasn't been back home quite a year yet. Um, he has applied. I want him to be considered, like the other four, as a candidate. And my postponement will facilitate that. Um, his father has been my supporter for many years. Um, in fact, all the candidates have been my supporters at some time or the other. Greg has a wonderful story to tell as to how he was victimized by this government. And I want him to tell it in his own words. And I want him to be given the opportunity. So I hope the party will look at him and the others and make a decision. And whatever decision they make, I hope Greg will be able to tell his story on the campaign trail, whether he's the candidate or not. Um, no, there are many lies told about me, my dear, um, <laughs> quite often. There's never been any time when I thought about staying on. When did you consider Mr. Ingram? In fact, in fact, quite frankly, um, there's been a twist in what I said. I said on the night of election that I don't intend to take my seat in the House of Assembly. In order for me to have a seat, I have to come and swear in. So I come and swear in, and then they say, oh, he changed his mind. <laughs> no, he didn't change his mind. He came to swear in to be an, a member of the House, and thereafter he is able to resign. Mr. Ingram, did you consider it prior to the election that you would step down as member of Parliament if, if the economic loss? That question doesn't arise. Um, there was no circumstance under which a leader such as myself, who's been leader of a party for 19 years, can take a party into election, lose the election, and who wants to stay on? 
If you were a young person, a one first shot, take Minister, for instance, as a, as a new leader of the party, if he takes the party to the election and the party loses, he ought to offer his resignation, but the party might well say to him, fine, we think you ought to stay because, you know, we think you have opportunities for the future. Someone like me who served for three terms, it's unthinkable at age 64, 65 in a couple of weeks' time that I would stay on. That's unthinkable. And why would I stay on to be a member of parliament? What is there in that for me? I've, I've spent more than half of my life right. in the House of Assembly. 35 years, I'm now 64, more than half of my life. It's time for me to go. People have told me it's time for me to go, and I'm happy to go. Thank you very much. The answer I gave you remains the same. Next question, please. Um, no, I don't wish to clarify anything. My record stands very clear. They can tell as many lies as they like. Um, I shall have my opportunity to speak, and I will speak. And I hope you listen when I speak. Uh, because I have now postponed my retirement until the 31st of August, and uh, I want to be respectful of the rules of the House. The rules of the House says that if a member doesn't come for three months, the member will vacate his seat. Mm -hmm. I am not a Vincent Peet. I am not the PLP. Mm -hmm. And so I will come to respect the rules of the House of Assembly and use the opportunity to say goodbye to the House. Um, I didn't hear you earlier, but you were saying something about the referendum um, and the timing of it. But I wanted to ask, um, um, do you intend to vote and what do you intend to vote? <laughs> Um, so the question is about legalizing numbers and um, the second question.